I've decided to take a challenge, a 30-day challenge. I wanted to see how much my face would improve by applying castor oil to it before going to bed every single night for one month. Here it is, all nice and shiny for you. It's all plump and moist, and in this video, I'm going to talk about my experience and the benefits castor oil can provide for you. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Sean back with another video. For my new and returning viewers, thank you for joining me. For thousands of years, castor oil has been used as a natural remedy for scars, bruises, constipation, burns, and rashes. Its rich anti-inflammatory properties are an incredible pain reliever. So if you have muscle cramps or arthritis, instead of popping in a Tylenol, just apply some castor oil to the afflicted area. It also helps to alleviate acne breakouts by penetrating deep into the skin. Castor oil contains ricinoleic acid, its main fatty acid. It's been approved by the FDA as a laxative to stimulate bowel movement. For women, it aids to induce labor during pregnancy. When I heard castor oil had an outstanding hydrating effect on the face, that's when I decided to take up this 30-day challenge. So now that it's reached its conclusion, let's get into my results. To me, applying it the first night felt very awkward. I've been following my own regular skincare routine for a couple of months now, but I wondered how castor oil would beautify my face. It didn't really seem too different. I'd simply pour a small amount into my fingers, rub it thoroughly between the palms of my hands to warm it up, then massage it in my face in an upward motion to prevent sagging. Then I'd lie down and go to sleep. Here's good news for all you insomniacs out there. Castor oil helps you get a good night's sleep. Its calming properties induce sleepiness and relaxation whenever it's applied above the eyelashes. I began to get accustomed to my new routine after a few days, but it wasn't until I filmed a video involving a severe mishap when I really began to appreciate the healing powers of castor oil. I was filming a shaving video six days into the challenge, and while doing so, I severely cut the side of my chin right about here. I was on the second pass of my shave when I nicked it, and the bleeding was so bad there was no way I would upload what progress I made. Then after a while, I applied castor oil to the affected area with a bandage. Even though the mark on my chin was visible for several days after, it healed remarkably well. Now I've made a complete recovery. As the challenge went forward, I noticed how smoother and supple my face felt. It never felt so naturally moist than at any other time of my life. This was especially apparent after shaving. I always do three passes using traditional double-edged safety razors, and thanks to the wonders of castor oil, my cheeks feel sexy smooth and lustrous. I also noticed the area around my eyes began to make me look younger. For a long time now, I've had an issue with tired, dark-looking patches, mostly due to working rotating shifts in a factory. With castor oil, they've improved significantly. After this 30-day challenge, I'll rely on vegan skincare to keep myself looking attractive, but I may apply castor oil to my face every now and then just to detoxify it from bacteria and other chemicals. Towards the final days, acne on my forehead began to break out. Castor oil penetrates the skin so deeply to the point that inflammation from down under gets exposed. Because of the nature of work that I do, being so physically demanding, I can work up quite a sweat. The excess dirt and oil seeps underneath the layers of my face. So in, in order to safely remove it all, a good facial cleanser is what I need. While castor oil excels as one, it may be too rich for some. There are certain properties that can potentially cause an allergic reaction, so it's best to consult a healthcare practitioner 
to verify if castor oil is suitable for you. Here's a picture I took on the day that I commenced this challenge. And of course, here's how I look now. I'm brimming with much more stunning looks and confidence. These past 30 days were an amazing experience. And although I'm not a doctor, I highly recommend castor oil as a natural healing remedy. From the castor beans grown in the world's tropical regions to the, the bottles sold at your local health store, castor oil is now in high demand from consumers everywhere. It's a key ingredient in certain shampoos, soaps, lip balms, lotions, and creams. I also use it to cleanse my liver and bowels by massaging it into my stomach. And whenever I have a case of athlete's foot, I rub some between my toes to eliminate the fungus. It is also said that castor oil can stimulate hair growth, but so far, there has been no conclusive scientific evidence to support this. I myself did not notice much of a difference in my facial hair. It continued to grow at the same rate as it always did. Castor oil has a yellow tint and is sold in plastic or glass bottles. Personally, I prefer buying glass such as this since there are less harmful chemicals emitted from the container. Castor oil can also be beneficial for cleaning dentures. Its antimicrobial properties clear out harmful bacteria and yeast, leaving them all sanitary and sparkling in the morning. So, this has been my 30-day challenge experimenting with castor oil to my face. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I appreciate all of your love and support, and I'll have more skin care content coming in the near future. This is Sean, and thank you for watching. Wishing you peace, much love, and good health. Namaste.